Okay, everyone, it'll be the usual setup. First few questions for immediate use, and then the second part for newspapers. Ian, welcome to Wentworth. Thank um, you. It's your, your first tournament on uh, British soil this year. Looking forward to the week? I am looking forward to, to, to this week. It's been, um, it's been a good start to 2018 for me, and um, yeah, it's kind of set up what's going to be a great summer being able to come back, spend uh, a good chunk of time in Europe is, um, is really nice. Um, you know, this, this golf course this week apparently is in the best condition it's ever been. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting out this afternoon to have a, have a good look at it. Um, I'm very much, yeah, looking forward to the week. I think, you know, for me, it's a golf course I haven't had the results on through the years. It's been extremely disappointing. Um, you know, from, from my side, not being able to, you know, force a decent finish. Um, so with the form I've got right now, I would, you know, I'd like to think um, I'm coming in in the right frame of mind, you know, to be able to go out there and play well this week. Well, you say your form has been pretty impressive in recent months. Does, uh, does that bode well, do you think, for this week and for the summer ahead? Um, I hope so. Um, you know, I need to I, I need to attack this golf course in a slightly different way. Uh, I think I need to be more aggressive all round, and um, yeah, put myself you know put myself on the board as early as I possibly can, uh, and enjoy you know enjoy the fact of being in the UK um, for the you know relatively short time that I do have here um, to be able to you know to be able to go out and have some fun and, uh, and play some good golf. So, so go to the floor. Questions? Start with Jamie. Hey, Pultz, we've got a few questions from Facebook Live. Lots of uh, hellos and welcomes. Um, Derek, nice. um, Jonas, sorry, wants to know, what's the biggest reason for your recent turnaround in form? Um, biggest reason? Hard work, determination, Ryder Cup. Uh, on the Ryder Cup, Derek asked, in regards to the Ryder Cup, how do you personally weigh up experience versus rookie quality? Um, I think I think the Ryder Cup, r rookie is a, dif a different word today than what it used to be back in the day uh, when you're talking about Ryder Cup. I think uh, the guys are very, very well experienced nowadays uh, on the global stage. Uh, so I, you know, I don't see much in it between a rookie and, a, and an experienced player. Sorry, last one before I open the floor. Um, Sarah wants to know, other than brown sauce, what's the biggest thing you miss about being back? Huh. I can get HP sauce in America. Uh, I miss the sausages. I miss the curry. I miss the bacon. Um, I miss the sunshine. I, I mean, I love, I love being back in the UK. It's, it's great. We're going to go to Phil in the back. It's impossible also to make a proper cup of tea in America, isn't it? It's yeah, the water's not hot enough. Exactly. I can make a proper cup of tea at home. Yeah, well, obviously. But yeah. on the road, it's, yeah. it's difficult. Uh, <laughs> getting to the question. Um, you played here last year after a few years away. Uh, what did you make of the sort of re-changes, as it were, the, to the course? Yeah, I mean, I thought the, I thought the redo was, was a good one. Uh, I think the course sets up well visually. Uh, it, it, it's an impressive course. It always was. Um, you know, I, I'm very excited this year from from what everyone's been talking about in terms of the condition of the course. I've seen on social media a lot of the guys have been out there early, you know, late last week or even early this week playing, um, and they're raving about it. So, you know, for me, it's um, it's always been a good layout. Obviously, the tweaks and changes I think have been good ones. And uh, with the added bonus of it being in great condition, you know, it should be should be a fantastic week, and we've got the weather forecast for it as well. So, you know, hopefully, it's going to be a really impressive week. Question Hi. at the back. Hi, Ian. Just um, you mentioned about the Ryder Cup, of course. How much motivation do you have to, to to be back out there, and what and what would that mean to you later this year? I've got quite a bit of motivation to make that team again. I think Paris. Uh, will be a fantastic Ryder Cup. I think the venue's good. I think the team already sh is shaping up to be very strong. Uh, for me to have been vice captain last time round, um, to, you know, to, to enjoy that for what it was, was, was great. 
uh, from an experience standpoint, but there's nothing like playing. So for me to, you know, to put myself in a position to be close now um, and to have a big push this summer to try and you know, make sure I, I make that team would be, um, it'd be great. I'm looking forward to the challenge. And also you're, uh, of course, a, a very vocal Arsenal fan. They've, uh, in the last hour, announced the successor to Arsene Wenger will be Unai Emery. Emery. What, what's your reaction to that? Um, I mean, I don't know an awful lot about him. I think uh, whoever was going to take that role um, has got big shoes to fill. I mean, 22 years uh, and a job well done, I think, from Arsene. Um, you know, the trophy cabinet's been dry for a while, uh, or it's not as full as, obviously, the fans would like it. So hopefully, you know, his changes will be good ones, and hopefully he can strengthen the team in the right areas, um, and hopefully he brings the results. One more from Phil. Hey, and you mentioned your uh, European summer, as it were. What is the actual schedule coming up, and um, do you think you're more likely to qualify off the European points list, or do you think it'll still be a world points list for you? Well, I'm closer on the world points list right now um, from a ranking points perspective. I think I'm next man in uh, on that list. Uh, and I think I'm uh, 900,000 or a million points away on the other list. So obviously world points would be, would be the, the list to qualify through. Uh, my schedule will be play next week in Italy. I'll have a week off, go over to US Open, fly straight back, have a week off, play France, have a week off, play Scotland, uh, play the Open Championship, and then hop back on a plane, play Canada, play Akron, play US PGA, sleep for a week, and then uh, see if I can, you know, the, the, the goal for me is to play as good a golf as I possibly can to allow me to take a couple of FedEx events off. Um, you know, to make the teams important for me to be fresh, you know, by getting there, I think is also very important. So that's that's the that's the big picture plan, and hopefully it goes it goes to to plan. Okay, if that's all for that section, if we can turn the cameras <coughs> off, and we'll go to the written section. Good. David and James. Yeah.